guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. And um, today is my Premier League predictions for week 18. A little bit later than what I usually do it. But considering what happened to United across the weekend, I thought I'd leave it a bit late to see if anything will happen. Um, for you that don't know, Joe Serino got sat by United yesterday as I'm filming this. And not long ago, that Anagar Solskjaer is going to be the caretaker manager till the end of the season. Um, but as I said, Premier League position for Week 18, guys, you can tell what game I'm going to start with. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So Wolves and Liverpool's the first game we're going to kick off with. Um, Liverpool, you know, beating United this weekend just gone. Um, am I expecting uh, Liverpool to, walk up, uh, to win this one? Yes. Um, am I expecting a good game? Yes. Do I expect Wolves to stop them? Nah, not really. So with this one, I'm going to go with a 3-0 scoreline to Liverpool. The next one is Bournemouth versus Brighton, um, where Brighton fans, uh, including me, have our own little despair, our own little argument whether this is a derby or not. Now I know some of you guys say no, I know some of you guys say yes, because we're both from the South Coast. Um, I personally think it's a derby. I don't get how, um, you know, if people that don't know our rivals are Crystal Palace and, um, you know, if you could call that a derby, how can you call that a derby when they're in London and we're down here? And then you can't call us a Bournemouth a derby or us a Southampton or us a Portsmouth. Uh, you know, put it that way. But back to the game, I'm going to go with a one all scoreline for that one. I think Bournemouth might just be on the downer. Um, and I won't be surprised if Brighton managed or just slightly miss out on the three points. The next one is Chelsea versus Leicester. Chelsea done ever so well, beating Brighton 2-1 uh, this previous week had just gone. Um, two sloppy goals to concede for Brighton. One was apparently offside. Um, I thought it was offside when it was scored, but the lines been doing there. Give it yet again. It's another VAR decision that could have worked in Brighton's favour. Uh, there's apparently rumours that it was offside, but I haven't seen it in on the telly, so I can't say whether it was or wasn't. Um, Leicester, on the other hand, just got knocked out of the EFL Cup uh, against Manchester City on penalties. Um, so with this one, I'm going to go with a 2-1 Chelsea win. The next one is South, uh, Huddersfield versus Southampton. John Smith Stadium, Southampton, uh, not Southampton, sorry, Huddersfield really struggling to pick up any points. Anyone going to Huddersfield at this top, this stage of the season could probably feel a lot more confident than what Huddersfield does um, in this present time. Um, Southampton picked up their first three points the previous week had just gone. Um, but with this one, I'm going to call it a draw. And I'm going to go with a one all score. I'm, I'm expecting Huddersfield to at least get a goal this week. The next one is Manchester City versus Crystal Palace. Um, as I just said, City through to the EFL Cup semi-final. Um, Crystal Palace on the other hand, are, you know, we're in that dogfight with the bottom. Um, but I can only see this game going one way. And I'm going to give it to City and I'm going to go with a 4-0 scoreline. I'm expecting a Man City really strong team. The next one is... <coughs> Newcastle versus Fulham. Um, you know, both teams are on the down. Um, I'm expecting another draw for this one, and I'm expecting a nil-nil scoreline. The next one is West Ham versus Watford. Um, a London derby as such. Uh, I think one's in South London, one's in North London. Um... You know, Watford are still my dark horses of the season. Um, I think they're doing incredible things at this stage of the season. Uh, no one expects them to hit the ground running as they did. Um, West Ham, on the other hand, are starting to get 
pretty good and the Pellegrini. So I'm going to stick this one with the home fans. Sorry Watford fans. You are still my dark horses even if you lose this fixture. Um, and I'm going to go with a 2-1 scoreline to West Ham. Um, that could be an interesting game uh, both in, uh, both for both teams. I think it's whoever gets the first goal will come out on top. Um, the next one, and it's only got Solskjaer's first game in caretaker charge, is Cardiff versus Manchester United at the Cardiff City Stadium. Now, Cardiff um, play well at home. Um, you know, they, they've done some incredible things that I managed to pick up maximum points where I probably shouldn't have done. Um, but because it's only got Solskjaer's first game in charge, I'm going to have to stick with the Cardiff. I'm going to have to, obviously, as I just said, stick with the Bluebirds. Um, and I'm going to go with a 1-0 um, scoreline for that one. And it's on the Gar Solskjaer's old club. Um, his first Premier League job where he got the sack. Um, the next one is Everton versus Spurs. Now, Spurs is a new stadium. I can't say, I still can't say how long it's going to be. Um, but the fans are allowed inside the stadium now, so I'm guessing they got a safety check. I'm guessing it's going to happen around the new year, probably February time, time they got all the outside done as well. Um, I've had my personal opinion on the Tottenham Stadium. I thought they would have done a better job. Um, you know, it's not a bad ground, but considering it's brand new, I was expecting a little bit more for Tottenham. In my eyes, it's a mini Wembley, um, and the only reason it's called a mini Wembley is because Tottenham can hold a maximum of 75,000, and Wembley can hold 90,000. Um, but hey, I back to the fixture, and I'm going to go with a 2-0 Spurs win. The last one of this weekend is Arsenal versus Burnley at the Emirates Stadium. Um, Arsenal doing ever so well under Unai Emery. I will possibly finish them um, being a top four come the end of the season. Um, obviously, if you saw my Premier League predictions table at the beginning of the season, I think it went up two weeks prior to this season kicking off. Um, you know, I predicted them to finish. I might have got that wrong already. Um, but I won't know until I look back at it and I'll review it in May and do... How, how many I got right. Um, going up against a very low Burnley side. So I'm going to have to stick for Arsenal to win this one. And I'm going to have to go with a 3-0 scoreline for that one. Guys, anyway, this be my... Well, it won't be my last um, upload for Christmas. But you might not see it. So, guys, I wish you a happy Christmas. Happy New Year. Guys, thanks for all the support you showed me through 2018. I'm looking forward to 2019 already. Um, you know, keep your comments coming. Keep your score predictions coming. Um, but as I just said, I wish you a very happy Christmas. Happy New Year. And my Boxing Day one might be uploaded on the 23rd or Christmas Eve. So keep an eye out for that. But guys, anyway, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.